Oh, it's not this one. Here it is. Our uh, book. Can you see it now? Yes. Okay, good. So, of course, since we are on the listening, we're going to go and listen to an audio that is about Carol and her voicemail. Voicemail. So, she has five message, messages. So, what you would need to do in this um, exercise, we're going to listen to the five messages and then tell me which message, message number one, two, three, four, and five, who calls to apologize for a mistake, ask Carl to ring, <coughs> sorry, to ring her back, and then, uh, and then the rest. Okay. Do you understand? Yes. Okay. Yes. So. I'll be playing the audio first. Here it is. Listening. Unit 6. Exercise 2. Message 1. It's Josie. Just thought I'd tell you, because I know you're planning your next holiday to New Zealand. There's a program about it on TV tonight at mm, uh, half past nine. It's called Out and About. BBC Two, I think. So that is message number one. Now let us listen to message number two. Uh huh. So here it is. Can you hear it? Can you hear it? Oh no, it's not still loading. Message 2. Hi, it's Mark. Sorry, I got it wrong when we spoke earlier. About dinner. The restaurant is closed on Mondays, so we'll have to make it Tuesday instead. Ring me. That's message number 2. Let us now listen to message number 3. Are you following? Yes. Okay, here it is. Message three. Carol, it's Elena. I'm having a party on the 24th. It's going to be at my house, 112 Lexington Drive. L-E-X-I-N-G-T-O-N. Lexington Drive. Hope you can come. Okay, now here is... Message number four. Yes. Message four. It's Margaret. Tuesday, uh, ten past eight. I phoned the information hotline about the tickets. There's a big price range from ten pounds to forty-five pounds. What shall we go for? Ring me back quickly or leave a message. O eight seven double six three two double seven one four. Okay. Are selling fast. <laughs> so that was yes. for that. Now for the last message, here it is.
Message five. Carol, it's David. Do you remember your brother David? I don't think you ever listen to your messages. So I'm coming to see you on Saturday. We need to talk about Mum and Dad's Christmas present. So write down some ideas. Okay. So that was a lot of messages, but let's go and answer this exercise. Let's have number one, the first one. Which caller do you think apologizes for a mistake? Hi, Lynn. Two. It is caller number... Two. Two. That is correct. And how about the next one? Can you read it? Ask a lot to ring back. S number number four. Four. That is also correct. Next. S a family member. S number five. Yes, and then. Invite Carol to some things. S number three. Three. And lastly. Talks about holiday plans is number one. Number one. That is good. Okay. So, that is for that exercise. But still about the messages. Okay. We have here the messages. Some little information about the messages that we've listened to. What you would need to do is to complete the missing information. Okay. So we have it here. We're going to go and listen to the audio again so that you could recall it. And then after listening to each recording, you're going to go and complete the needed information. Okay? Yes. Okay, so here's the first message. Listening. Uh, yes, what me I six. You will take a picture of it. Okay. I see messenger three. Message three. And messenger five. Done? I finished. Okay, that's good. Yes. I'll play the audio again. Here it is. Listening. Unit 6. Exercise 2. Message 1. It's Josie. Just thought I'd tell you, because I know you're planning your next holiday to New Zealand. There's a program about it on TV tonight at mm, uh, half past nine. It's called Out and About. BBC Two, I think. Okay, now let's go and answer the missing information for message number one. What is it? As them out tonight. Mm hmm Out? That, what is the name of the program? Out. Out and... Out tonight. Okay, it's actually out and about. You hear it? The name okay. of the program would be uh, Out yes, and About. I don't hear the clearly. Okay. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. Well, let's go and continue with yes. the other information. At half past eight to nine. When does it show? Half past eight. Half past. Yes. Eight. Eight. Oh no. Actually, it's half past nine. But nine. Yes, it is. 
for that program it will show on half past night tonight half past nine tonight that's why you hear tonight okay well what channel does this program air BBC. BBC? BBC okay yes BBC 2 you're missing the 2 it's B it's on BBC 2 <laughs> well okay that is fine now let's go and listen to the second message listen carefully okay here it is message two <clears throat> hi it's mark sorry i got it wrong when we spoke earlier about dinner the restaurant is closed on mondays so we'll have to make it tuesday instead ring me okay now for message number two from whom is it mark yes Uh, the new day is Tuesday. And yes. the action is bring, 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 bring something for him. Ring me, or like you're gonna, you're saying, call me back. That's what it means. Okay. Uh, uh huh. Yes. Well, you did great on that. Now let's go and have the other one. Here it is. Message three. Carol, it's Elena. I'm having a party on the 24th. It's going to be at my house, 112 Lexington Drive. L-E-X-I-N-G-T-O-N. -E Lexington Drive. Hope you can come. Okay. Now let's go and have... Message number three. What's message number three is missing information? S about the party. The party, that is correct. When will it be? Tonight? Uh-huh. It will be on the 24th. What the woman said was this number. Or date. 24th. Okay. Okay, let's move on. Where will it be? It's lessons and right. Okay, you're missing the other address. The woman states it's in 112 Lexington Drive. Okay. <laughs> uh, that's fine. Now, let's go and listen to the fourth message. Listen to the whole information. Okay. Here it is. Message four. It's Margaret. Tuesday, uh, ten past eight. I phoned the information hotline about the tickets. There's a big price range from £10 to £45. What shall we go for? Ring me back quickly or leave a message. 87 3277714 Tickets are selling fast. Okay. Now for the fourth message, what is it? It's on Tuesday. It's at ten past eight. Yes, and then about the it's about the price. Price of what? I don't know. Okay, it's about the prices or price of the tickets. Okay. Now, yes. and then, 
What is the prices of those tickets? It's 10 pounds to 24 pounds. To? 10 to? 10 to 24. Okay. It's 10 to 45 pounds. Okay. Uh, <laughs> it's fine. So the, that was a really big jump for the prices. So what did the woman said for the action? It's bring me and bring me on messenger. What else? Where would the woman call her? What was the number? Hi, Lynn. Can you tell me what was, where will the woman call? Where will Carol call Margaret? Margaret, uh, rather. On the messenger. Uh-huh. And Margaret actually gave a number. What was the number? Can you remember? No, I'm not right now. <laughs> okay, you did not write it. Okay, that is fine. But I told you, listen to the whole information next time. Okay, but anyway, yeah. let's go and have this last message. Listen carefully. Message five. Carol, it's David. Do you remember your brother David? I don't think you ever listen to your messages. So I'm coming to see you on Saturday. We need to talk about Mum and Dad's Christmas present. So write down some ideas. Okay. Now, what is the last message about? From whom is it? From David. Uh-huh. And then? Uh, it's about mom and dad present. Yes, that is right. The action is think about, think about the, the present. Yes, or write some ideas in regards to the present that they will give to their parents. Okay? So that is what is that about? Well, here, so that was all about the messages in regards to Carl's voicemail, okay? So we will go and have the next exercise that is kind of similar to that, okay? But we will be doing that on our next class. And also in our next class, we're going to go and listen to a audio that is about this information. It, it does not have any missing information, but it has a mistakes or wrong information that you would need to correct. And we will have that for our next class, okay? As we don't have much time left for tonight. So I will see you again on our next class. Thank you for tonight. Goodbye. Good night. Bye. Thank you.